welcome to a new printing with random kitchen utensils video. <laughs> if you're new here, I'm Claire, a mixed media and jelly print artist based in country New South Wales, Australia. As you can probably tell by my accent, <laughs> I love using weird and random things in my gel prints to create unique one of a kind papers for my collage projects. So today I'm printing with serviette rings that I picked up in my local Salvo store. That's a thrift shop or a secondhand charity store, depending on what part of the world you come from. Uh, you can find the most amazing, unique things to print with in a secondhand store. So always look there for some inspiration. I started with a basic stamping pattern because circles, who doesn't love circles? And uh, starting with the basics, it helps to release your creativity if you're feeling a little bit blocked and you don't know where to start. Make sure you wait for that first layer to dry before you roll your next pickup layer on. Uh, the longer you leave your base layer to dry, the more defined that pattern is going to be. That is so cool. Look how awesome that is. I'm really pleased how well that came up. So the second print, I thought I'd try the side of the ring using the pattern to texturize the paint. I do think I used a little bit too much paint here and it probably should have rolled it off a bit before I used the ring, but uh, you live and learn and it came out great anyway. Um, you can see that the pull print uh, brought out the texture rolling and some of the original circle stamp too. So it's a great unique design. I'm really happy with that. So print number three, I chose to try out the ring as a stamp, just randomly rolling the ring over the plate to create some stamping patterns, a little here and a little bit there. So I use that smaller 5x7 plate to mix the colours on so I don't end up with some weird paint stripes or blotches on my main plate and it also actually helps to avoid using too much paint on the brayer. Again, the print picked up some of the old layers from the first prints, um, which is really cool. And it left behind some new paint for uh, the next print. So it created another really unique design. And that's the wonderful thing about gel printing is that you never really know what you're gonna get. Every print is unique and different. And you can do the same thing every single time you do printing and it always comes out a little bit different, which is fantastic. So now I've got four gorgeous new papers for my collage stash. Uh, make sure you click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on my next video. Um, what random thing am I going to print with next? We'll see you next time to find out. Bye.